guys. Um, yeah. Um, for all the boat house guys, the last video. Um, I've been trying all afternoon. Shush. I've been trying all afternoon basically to um, work out simple ways to teach you. And at the moment, I just don't have the filming equipment to be able to get the angles I need. I am going to try throughout the week to try and try and edit something together to move on. A little bit further on the, um, the Funkadelic riff. Oh, that's my wallet gone. Um, you know, the... Because I wanted to um, progress on it to get... I wanted to get a bit more of that. Um, but really, you need to see really what's going on there and I've got to work out some way of muffling or getting an external mic for my phone because I did some stuff for one of my bands which I will be telling you guys about very soon it's a new band that's just started with two insane musicians um yeah it was just I just found that you know the these the what the, the room and the tone of my cymbals it's just overpowering everything i have changed my snare and also we are playing on the pink fisher price pdp kit uh, it's a pdp new yorker um i haven't tuned anything i've just literally got it out of the box the only one i did tune was the kick because mainly i wanted to for it that's a little bit too pingy that's what i call it anyway um i'll probably get some moon gel and do the bottom reso head on that and same thing with this you know i'll try and get that uh, yeah i changed to um move that out of the way my old workhorse snare um i've had this snare probably 12 years and do you know what I absolutely love it it's a um, handmade CCP snare it was a concept snare there's only one of these um, it was custom built and they used it it's uh, 13 by 8 um, I've always been a fan of deep snares. I mean, I've got um, in the box there, I've got a DW Collector's Series um, Tamo Ash veneered snare that I'm actually selling because it doesn't quite give me the sound I want. Um, I've got to play with the pink PDP snare to try to get a really high pitch, nice crack. And also I've got that um, snare in bag there that's part of the Mapex V series. So um Amy sent me a couple of the songs. Um, I'm still working through those. So bear with me on that. Um, I am gonna be start teaching Hannah. Um, she's the one out of my three step kids. Uh, we start our first lesson tomorrow and I'm gonna try and when she's a bit more confident get some clips going of that just so you guys can see how she's gonna progress and see what works for her you know all, all the usual stuff um but yeah i'm gonna sort of do a sort of review-esque video as well but no it's um i mean no matter how i put it across watching it back i couldn't get the to that so then we can build on add little things
things like that on the kick, you know, and try and work on the... Uh, Because you know, get lucky's got quite a lot of um, get lucky's. <laughs> Visit and try and build on the beat a little bit. Okay, so you know, as I said, like things like Mustang Sally and that I want to work. On. So we've got. You remember from all the old videos when we first touched on it, and I've touched on it a couple of times since. Uh, okay, so what we're now going to do is we're going to um, add. Another kick hit into it somewhere, and then we're gonna um, gradually build, and we're gonna have little accents on our hats. So we will have like little hats open and closing. So we'll. basing this off is the Peter Gunn theme. If you've ever seen the Blues Brothers, um, it's quite early on in the film and it's awesome. Um, yeah, so all you need to do is uh, research Peter Gunn theme and it's Gunn, G-U-N-N, um, and it'll come up. It'll probably, you know, if it comes up on the Blues Brothers album, it's fine, but underneath it, that is the Renaud riff, so that's what we're going to be focusing on now, though. <laughs> Okay, so the so it's so three and okay, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So you're giving an extra hit. On the third beat, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're not doing the one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four. We're going one and two and three and four, one, two and three and four. And one. Okay, everything else on the top. Okay, I need to make this clear because I didn't because I'm rubbish. Everything else on the top of this, guys, is all the same as the beat. All we're doing at the moment is just adding an extra kick beat on and so three and so buff buff. A bit like when we did We Will Rock You. <laughs> Okay, so it's that same. You can clap it out to make you know, to make sure that you got it. Remember what I always say: if you've got a tempo out metronome at home, um, pause it. You know, slow it down. There is no race. It doesn't matter if you're going. beats you start running ahead of your time signature and you know if, if you're in a band you know your bass player going what the hell are you doing what's going on there you know 
because you've got to remember the basis of all this is yes you can have fun and yes you are one of the most important people there but you are the timekeeper you speed up the band speeds up you slow down the band slows down you speed up slow down they're not going to know what the hell's going on so you know remember as i said the tempo app i don't get paid by tempo at all i just think it's an absolutely phenomenal app okay so i'm gonna break this down for you so So one and two and three and four. So we're going. I trust you guys can do a little bit more than the beat, the standard. You know, we'll get on to kick patterns and improvising like that, don't they, Troll? Uh, in another video at some point when I've got better angles because then I'll be able to try and film sort of up here somewhere so you're getting a shot and you can see my feet but yeah instead of just coming out one man you know instead of that single Okay, and remember your snare hit is on two and four. Remember your snare hit is on the even beat. So just slow it down for us. snare hits are and you gotta think two one one three and 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 in so many different songs as well the same as added a couple of extra kits with the basis of the Peter Gum theme and it's in a lot of music yet again um, song two um, blur I believe it's actually the intro the all they've done is they've just added 
added an extra kit on the one and so it's one and three and one and three and which once you've got the grass once you've sort of like nailed it down you know slow tempo as i said there is no absolutely no prizes for coming first in this while you're developing your style while you're developing any of this there is no gold medals all there is is bad technique and you get stuck in ruts which you can't get out of which hopefully by me you know i know i keep saying it but hopefully by me keep going do it slowly if you get cross with it you know walk off have a cup of tea um you know go for a walk watch, watch something on telly you know go listen to some music or you know put, put your favorite song on that's got one of the riffs that we can we can play together when we're together in september you know just just think don't let your brain overload it's the worst thing in the world um i've done it at gigs and it, it's shown you know I've, I've watched myself and yeah it, it makes me really angry you know when i see myself play like that i'm like what are you doing mug what are you doing you know how to do that why are you playing like but that's beating myself up and that's one thing I don't want you guys to do. Okay, so yeah, Pete Gunn um, theme. Best place to look for it is if you put Blues Brothers Peter Gunn theme and it'll come up. But yeah, just remember, take that time that one, three and one, three and Two and three and one, two and three. You know, say it out, and you can again. You can do this on curtains, surface, stamping the floor as you've seen we've done previously on your belly. You know, you can do it on whatever. If you've got practice pads, you can do it on that. If you've got a full kit, you can. Don't forget, September I will be bringing a couple of full kits. So, you know, there'll be we're going to work out how long I'll be doing the. Um, in person workshops with you in regards to um, terms, performances, your performance rehearsals, uh, choir concerts, and other charity events as well. So we'll um, we'll see. I'll, I'll have a chat with um, Millie and Amy about that and see what's going on. I did find. If you remember, we we're working off a sheet. That one. For the snare um we're gonna um do a bit more on that in a couple of weeks time uh we would be doing it a bit closer but i've um now we can actually sort of safely go into places and be a bit closer to people um i've now got a couple of rehearsals so i've got close to about 50 songs to learn luckily i know quite a lot of them it's just more learning how they play them there are some i've never played before in my life i'm looking forward to the challenge as well because some of them are different genres so that's really cool um i look at that as that's a training exercise for me and you know it gets me into learning more different styles perfecting different things um but yeah this one is accented eighth note triplets okay so Got that there um so yeah we'll be working off of that uh we'll be doing some stuff on that as well okay um let's say if there is anything in these videos that you would like specifically filmed sorry if that was a bit specifically filmed um you know if you want closer camera angles if you want to see more what my hands are doing on the hats uh more what's going on with the snare more with the ride kit pattern if you want to know how to set up a drum kit um i will quite happily do a video i will strip the room down and i will build a drum kit as an instructional video just so you got a basic idea of um how to you know build your drum kit when you're setting it up and you're packing it down safely to move it around and stuff um you know i will more than happily do that um sticks as well same thing what sticks I use, what I prefer, what I'd recommend, um, trying out stick, you know, loads of different things, you know. Um, 
don't ask me um, reviews on different symbols because I found the perfect symbols for me and I don't think I'm ever going back. To be honest, um, all I can say is I haven't played anything this perfect, hands down. I know I keep, I know I keep banging on about them. I know I do, but seriously, I mean, just impression symbols, guys. <laughs> if you guys are out there and you're still looking at your Zildjans, your Sabians, your um, pasties, your, your Istanbul's, um, I, why? I would really highly recommend checking out impression symbols. Um, and so I know a few people that played them. And, you know, Jason Smith helped me get this emerging artist endorsement, which I am forever grateful. And I absolutely adore the company. I adore Paul, who works there. He is just uh, any questions, any query, bang on it. You know, it's just phenomenal. The products are insane. They are absolutely insane. And I think mean, the Illuminatis are just they're so versatile. They say, you know, rock and stuff. But, you know, I've been playing sort of like funk and disco. And they're so versatile. Um, you know, it, it, oh. but yeah, enough of me rambling on. But if you do want to check out Impression Symbols, which I highly recommend you do, uh, www.impressionsymbols.com or if you're from the UK, www.impressionsymbols.co.uk Anywhere else in Europe or the world, if you're watching, um, www.impressionsymbols. And then your national, whatever it is, like .br or .fr or something like that. Okay, and also, I mean, game changers. Absolute game changers, yet again. Um, they've just released a couple of new things at the Chicago Drum Show, which I will be buying. Um, still waiting on my new hardware. Um, I've been told I've got to wait another three months for it due to a shipping error, and it's like brilliant. So, I'm still stuck with some of my old stands and that, but that's fine. Hopefully, they'll be here by the time I get out proper gig again. Uh, but yeah, same thing is uh, No Nuts Symbol Sleeves, www.nonutsymbolsleeves.com or alternatively, impressionsymbols.co.uk's website stocks most of their products. If it isn't listed, they can get hold of them for you direct from No Nuts. Okay, the same with um, the impression symbols. If they've got something on their main.com website that they haven't on the UK website, I'm sure if you message Paul, or one of the other guys and girls from Impression, they'll get back to you and they'll talk to you and I'm absolutely sure they'll be able to get hold of the symbol you're after. But don't forget also, you also need to go on their website because I still need you guys to send me the splash suggestion and the China suggestion from Impression Symbols. It's coming up to that time where I need a couple more. I've almost got enough pennies to get myself a, I mean, that's the 18. I want a 17 inch Illuminati. And, you know, I want a nice china and a nice splash to go with it. And I need it for some of the jobs I've got coming up in the next few months, which is quite cool. So let me know. But, you know, just remember any trouble you have, any issues, you know, get on with Holy Diver Drama for Hire on Facebook. Message me direct through there. Um, in Holy Drop, uh, Holy Diver Drummer on Instagram, same thing. Drop me a message on there. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm normally very quick. Um, as I said, um, Tyler Holy Diver White is my personal Facebook page. You know, if you didn't want to go through the two um, pages, just just message me direct, guys from Burnt House. If you've got any queries. Um, if you've got any songs, if you want any help with anything, if you want any info on, you know, like if you're getting to buy your first drum kit or whatever, and you want any info on that, please, you know, absolutely. 
absolutely drop me a message you know even, even if it means you know me getting a train or something and coming to a shop with you obviously social distance mask and all that you know and you just want a bit of advice in the shop and you just want help with budget and that just, just let me know i'll come out and help you guys it's seriously it's not a problem uh, but yeah what i will do before we go and i won't edit this bit out is throw everything on the floor okay Ooh, close to me that's scary isn't it okay so as you can see up there that's the uh 14 inch pink pdp new yorker snare they the whole kit is poplar shells um i've never played poplar before um from what i'm hearing i'm liking it i've always sort of mainly been um maple i have had um oak kits in the past and that was nice they, they were nice kits they were but i went back to maple just because it's just a sweeter sound for me really but yeah first of all oh i mean who would have want to look at them there you go and once again look at that ready to gig there you go but here we go Okay, so this here is a 16 inch kick drum. 16, that's insane. Okay, and we got, as I said, nice. I don't know if the colour's going to come through, guys, but it's almost like a baby pastel thing. Uh, just in there, let me just see, there's my, uh, there's my snare, there's my baby. Yeah, she's, um, I am changing all the heads on these for, um, Evans Onyx 2 plies. I'll be doing that on all my kits. Um, and I'm going to, that Evans head on there is only a temporary one because I, um, I broke mine. I've got a, um, G2 on the bottom of that, I believe. And I did have a, uh, resonator snare, uh, heavy, heavy duty batter head on there, I believe. Um, I've got some pro sound snare wires on order for that as well. But any questions you do have, drop me a message, guys. You know, it's I'm here. I'm happy to help you guys. And any issues you have, um, anything you want, you know, any info, you know, I'm, ha I'm happy to help, guys. So till the next time, guys. See you later. And I will try and get the uh, camera angle sorted so I can try and edit something together for you. See how that works. And then I'll get you guys to comment and let me know what you think of that edited together video because I'm learning how to do it. But until then, guys, I shall see you guys later. Bye.